Anna Quinn. I am an online personal trainer. I've been certified for about six and a half years, certified through NASM and um, as well as Pre Precision Nutrition. <laughs> I worked for Lifetime and Golds as a trainer and today I'm gonna take you through a full upper body workout. Let's begin with exercise number one. This is my favorite superset for warming up. I think that this should be an essential for every male and female in the gym. I start off with doing pull-ups, as many as I can till failure, and then I drop down to the ground and do push-ups again, as many as I can till failure. If you're not able to do pull-ups, you can do pull-up negatives, where you jump up and then control yourself all the way down. You can use a box to get up to the bar or just use a Smith machine. Um, and for push-ups, if you're unable to do those, you can put your hands on a bench instead and do incline push-ups to make them a little bit easier. Next, we're gonna do bench press. So I like doing flat bench. I like to keep the reps a little bit lower on this. This is something that I wanna be strong on. With flat bench, it's typically not the most effective for muscle development, so it's more of a strength exercise or a power movement. I keep this four to six reps, really controlled movements, keeping my form good, making sure that I'm not using my um, back or you know throwing my shoulders off of the bench to get the weight up. And then we're gonna superset it with a single arm row. I did machine rows here, but you can also just do dumbbells if the machine is unavailable. And that way, my chest rests while I work my back, my back rests while I work my chest, but I'm still able to lift heavy on both. Moving forward, we're gonna do lateral raises. We're gonna do a drop set here. So we're gonna do 10 reps, pretty heavy, um, trying to keep good form, but allowing for a little bit of a um, failure if we have to. Then we're gonna set those heavy weights down, pick up a little bit lighter, whether it's five or 10 pounds down, um, and do another 10 just to make sure that we burn out. And with those, just make sure that you're keeping your thumbs pointing towards your body and that your elbows and your wrists, they all stay in alignment. We're gonna superset lateral raises with seated hammer curls. So this just allows us to protect our form a little bit more. So instead of standing up and using a lot of momentum, we're sitting down, we're trying to keep the movement really controlled and keeping our elbows in front of our body, really thinking about like squeezing that muscle as we come up. Our last exercise, it's gonna be a superset. We're gonna do cable push downs for your triceps. So I like to use the V-bar. You can also use a rope if that's unavailable. But we're just gonna make sure our elbows stay in front of our body. We're gonna push down, really focus on keeping your elbows forward. Don't let them come back towards your body. Come about three quarters of the way up and then go straight back down, squeezing your arms. We're gonna superset that with hanging toe to bars. So jump up on the bar, hold on. Try to bring your legs up to the bar, your toes up to tap the bar. If those are too hard, you can just hold yourself up and bring your knees up and do hanging knee raises instead. All right, so that is all for today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, what was your favorite exercise that we did and um, if you're gonna be trying it. And then you can also find me on social media by checking out the links somewhere in the description or something like that. But <laughs> and um, make sure to like this video, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you guys next time.